We will review the AVIA Setup and Extended Systems Test, or EST. This EST should be done with every new patient setup or every time the breathing circuit is changed. Begin by plugging the AVIA into a suitable AC power supply and connecting the compressed gas hoses to suitable gas sources. These gas connections can be found on the rear panel of the AVIA near the main power switch, which is used to turn the ventilator on and off. We're going to begin by inserting the filter water trap and attaching the ventilator circuit. To insert the filter water trap, first swing the latch completely out of the way. Then insert the filter with a straight vertical motion, being careful not to break it, and finally close the latch completely. Once this is complete, we can begin attaching the ventilator circuit. To attach the ventilator circuit, attach the inspiratory limb to the gas outlet on the front of the ventilator and the expiratory limb to the port on the expiratory filter water trap. If you're using an active humidification system, you will attach the inspiratory limb to the humidifier and there will be a dry line that connects the gas outlet to the inlet side of the humidifier. Now we're ready to perform the extended systems test. For a complete description of the extended systems test, please see chapter two of the operator's manual. To access the setup menu, press the setup button on the front panel of the ventilator. This menu is also opened automatically when the ventilator is initially powered on. Choose the appropriate patient size and press size accept. You'll notice the EST button on the right hand border of the display to initiate the test, press the EST button. You'll be prompted to remove the patient and block the patient circuit Y. Pressing the continue button begins the test. The initial phase of the test is the leak test and circuit compliance test. These typically complete at approximately 15 to 20 seconds. The balance of the test is a two point calibration of the oxygen sensor. For brevity, in this video, we have accelerated the timing of the remainder of the test. As we approach the final few seconds of the test, you'll see the O2 sensor calibration complete and display passed. Once this is done, we have the continue button appear. To begin ventilation, press the continue button. You will now see the circuit compliance compensation value in the window and pressing set accept will allow you to begin ventilating your patient.